By 2024, one out of every five people on the planet will live in India. India is already the world's largest democracy and fastest growing major economy. But right now, fewer than 40% of its 1.3 billion people have access to the internet. For companies like Google, Amazon and Facebook, that's a problem, one that they're spending billions to fix. If you really have a mission of connecting every person in the world, you can't do that without helping to connect everyone in India. As Google, we are extremely committed to India. Our mission in India is internet for every Indian. The battle to bring the internet to India is on. At stake, nearly a billion new users, and perhaps even more importantly, a leg up on the future of the internet everywhere. In 2018, Walmart acquired Indian online retailer Flipkart for $16 billion. And in a recent sale event, Amazon sold more than 1 million phones in just a single day. Yet even with those huge numbers, e-commerce only accounts for roughly 2.5% of India's retail sales. For big tech companies like Google, that presents an immense opportunity for growth. We decided to put high-speed free public Wi-Fi in India's railway stations. We're in 400 stations today. Through the course of that, we built a product called Google Station. Now that Google Station is now actually going to other emerging markets where affordable access is a constraint, right? Africa, Southeast Asia, and so on and so forth. The more people that use Google, the stronger Google gets. It's in the business of collecting data to sell ads. And India alone could offer Google two times more data than all of North America. You know, one of the things which I'm really excited by is uh, giving everyone in India one day the chance to carry a smartphone with full connectivity. Facebook sees an equally big opportunity. India is a very, very uh, big priority for us company-wide. We do want India to play a very important role in global digital trade. But there are also challenges. Many apps aren't written in Indian languages. And though mobile data is extraordinarily cheap, smartphones are still way too expensive for many Indians to afford. Pricing is everything. Tomorrow morning, if I could wake up and had one wish for the Indian internet, I would say it would be a much more affordable quality smartphone, right? And if we could do that, then I think literally overnight, we could double the user base in India. The biggest challenge though, might be the Indian government. Officials there have watched data breaches and privacy debates play out in other parts of the world. That includes the basic responsibility of protecting people's information, which we failed to do with Cambridge Analytica. And they're taking a hard line. Regulators have blocked Google's plans for street view mapping and even prevented Facebook from using the promise of free internet to push its app. Now, new regulation could restrict how tech companies can gather information from Indian users. I think India needs a balance between privacy and innovativeness. And, you know, you can't keep data locked up, but you need innovation to take place. So the right balance needs to be struck, and probably India will find the right balance. A lot of the people who are coming online in the next phase of growth are going to be first-time internet users. And therefore, our ability to make sure that people have the tools to understand what are safe internet practices is going to be a very important area of work both for us as a company, but also for the community to embrace. We have to build policies that take care of this country's assets and resources and still welcome a ton of money from outside. As millions of Indians come online, regulators and tech companies have the benefit of hindsight. How would the internet of today be different if we knew in the 90s what we know now? Could we do a better job with privacy, equal access, protection and free speech? India is not only a staggering economic opportunity, it's also a second chance at making the internet better for everyone, everywhere.